Hey everyone, it's Lisa and Lisa from Primitive Gatherings and today we have a great opportunity to show you all the quilts that are in this brand new book by Martingale called Charmed by the Moda Bake Shop. So there are 12 people's quilts in here and they are amazing, especially the one on the cover because I just noticed that this is my fabric. So that was a special little prize for me to have my fabric on the cover of this quilt. I did not make the quilt, but we shall see who did. All right, you wanna help me uh, go through these? All right, so Lisa is my sister if you haven't figured that out. And I'm not gonna tell you how I have a sister, Lisa. If you wanna find out, you have to find it on my blog. <laughs> All right, so we all know what Moda Bake Shop is, and that's a place where there's always a bunch of free patterns and stuff going on there. And a lot of people submit projects to it, so it's a really cool place to hang out, the Moda Bake Shop blog. And they've come up with books on these, sometimes a compilation of a bunch of them. So the first quilt that we're gonna show is from Ann Wines, or Wayne's, and I'm hoping it's this one, okay. All right, so I have not looked at any of these and that's why I was so surprised to see my fabric on the front of that one. Okay, so let's do this. There we go. So this one is made out of 30s prints and winds is quilt. It looks like it is an overall pattern quilted. And like I said, it's 30s prints super fun we'll show the back so we'll just bring it back this way lisa all right so you can see what she put on the back and use for binding okay all right the next quilt is called n-s-e-w i think it means and so right <laughs> and this one is by lisa joe G. I'm not going to try to pronounce your, that name because I don't want to butcher it, but uh, super cool fabric in this one. This one is, uh, I think, Sweetfire Rhodes line. Isn't that beautiful? So very fun. I love this. We have this in the shop right now, this collection. I've made a little quilt out of it as well, but big piecing, big half square triangles and some four patches. Very, very easy piecing. Here's the back, let's just show half, like keep it in half so we don't, there you go. And this is from that same line, apples it looks like, sideways, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so these, if I didn't mention it, are all quilts using charm squares. So that's what the whole book is about. I forgot to mention that in my excitement over seeing my fabric on the cover. <laughs> so when I do these trunk shows, I don't spend any time with the quilts. Kaylee lays them all out and I'm seeing them for the first time. And it's just so fun to see that. Now the next one is called Pinwheel Reese. And this one is from Susan Vaughn. And there we go. Again, 12 quilts using all those little charm packs that you pick up while you're shop hopping or visiting shops. It's, I love charm packs because you can have one piece of fabric for a, a very minimal amount of, of the, every line of fabric if you want. Like maybe we can't have back quarters of every line that we like, but a charm pack is very doable. Very nice. Back. There you go. Look at how nice and dense that quilting is. Another all over pattern. All right, up next, Flutter By by Jen Daly. And this is the one from my fabric line. I'm pretty sure we have charm squares. So if you like these fabrics, you'll have to get a hold of primitivegatherings.us, that's our website, and grab yourself a charm pack. Very fun, super cute. This one might not go back. <laughs> If it's missing, it's in Primitive Gathering Shop. Oh, beautiful purple on the back. And this looks hand quilted. Very cool. Very nice. Let's show that again. Hand quilted. 
So sometimes it doesn't take much through the black and through the sashing. Cute. I love seeing hand quilting, especially this day and age when it's so easy just to pass it off to the long arm. And trust me, I do that too. I hand it right off to the long arm, but I do have one coming up I'm gonna throw on the frame. Nice big one here, Sentimentally Yours, this one's called, by Sharla Krenzel. There we go. Nice big one. This is probably more than one charm pack. <laughs> Very nice. So I bet it's charm packs or five inch squares. Because we all have scraps that we can cut into five inch squares and make our own charm packs as well. Back fabric. Ooh, let's look at this. Show the whole back, Lisa. Ah, some extra. So there's your five inch charms left over, sewn in the back. Because sometimes two widths aren't enough, but you put in a little, a little in between and you have enough to make your 45s work. I don't wanna skip one, so I gotta make sure. Charming Pots is next by Nicola Dodd. I love uh, small quilts that can be used on tables and runners. So look at this fun one. So it is not, um, nope. It's not upside down because some of them go, it alternates. So when you're sitting at the table, it's, it's good. <laughs> so the people on that side of the table can see them and the people on that side. Yeah, right? So it's little flowers, nine patch flower pots. So at the back, there you go. Great runner for spring or summer. Don't you just love these Martingale books? especially when they're, when they're grouped around a pre-cut or something like that, that makes it super fun. All right, Charming Stars is next by the one and only Lisa Alexander from Moda. Look at that, beautiful. So how easy is that? There's your charm square and you just add some uh, snowball blocks and it makes stars, how sweet. I'm gonna have to do this <laughs> with one of my fabric lines. Very nice, showing the back. There we go. Cute little print on the back. Very nice. Strolling pathway is behind me. Look at how beautiful that is. Very modern. I love the open spaces in this. So it just kind of looks like it's on the diagonal and, you know, very whatever, right? Just anything goes. Beautiful big pieces. I do notice because at the retreat house that we have here that a lot of people love making big easy quilts. So that's one of the things I have on my list is to start concentrate on bigger, easier quilts. Not necessarily bigger, but easy things because people like to just get things done. And if you can work with a pre-cut, that even helps. All right, this one is called Radiate by Christine Weld. This is Nantucket from Camille Rascally. Beautiful, beautiful. So all you have here is, again, half square triangles, matching them up to be flying geese. Here you have four of them matching up. Perfect, right? Great design and this beautiful back. Sorry. <laughs> I can't follow my own rules. Just do half, I say, and then can't do it. So this has just got some straight line grid quilting in it. Hopefully you can see that through the light. Kaylee will get a good shot of that. Perfect. All right, couple more all boxed in and this is another one that i think just uses um, like two fabrics and then the charm square oh i don't need your help on this one there you go how fun is that but if you help me then i can look at it all right so this looks like some of um, fig trees oranges 
And then she's mixed some, with some grays and blacks. And this looks like a chambray fabric or a cross weave, one of those, or denim. Use your denim jeans. Super cute. Back, there you go. Very nice. Cute design, I love it. All right, next up, Pretty Posies is by Melissa Corey. Here's that beautiful Sweet Fire Road fabric. I think it's Midnight Garden or something like that, but don't quote me on that, all right? I don't know everybody, I don't even know my own fabric lines, much less somebody else's, but I know that this is one of our new Moda sisters and it and it's a fabulous uh, line of fabric that we all fell in love with. And you should see her Halloween one coming out. I'm working with that right now. But don't you love the gray instead of a white background? It just makes it a little more subtle, a little more cozy without having that, uh, because if she would have used a white background, these wouldn't have stuck out as nice as they do with that gray. So this is a beautiful choice for a background fabric. Love it. Oh, back. Beautiful roses. I said to her, remind me to show the backs on everyone because I get to talking and then I forget to flip it around. Okay, one more by Jessica Dayton and it is called Shoe Fly Spinners. go and this looks like Kansas Troubles fabric by Lynn Hagmeyer again big half square triangles one little one there and then probably the leftovers on the border isn't that fun sash two fabrics for sashing and a border very nice big old meander that works too sometimes it's just the right thing to do oh sorry there we go. There's that big old meander on there. Okay. So gather up your charm squares and look through this book because I don't know which one you're gonna pick to make first because they all are awesome. So until next time, see you again.